Hi, my name is Kelly Sim and this is my gymnastics scrapbook. Okay, so let's take a look. Oh my god. Oh, okay, this first photo was probably about eight, I think, in this photo. I remember that leotard being so tight around the neck. Um, I started gymnastics when I was six and I think it was one of my first team comps with my club. Um, and we got a silver medal, so I was probably you know, very happy with that. Oh my days. <laughs> So this was at my old gym club. Um, it was quite a tiny gym back then, and I think this was our first squad championships competition um, that I won. And my dad was probably making me do some silly pose on the beam of that. You know, my parents would always make a big deal out of it, and I had a little medal board in my room, so we would, you know, hang all the medals up on the wall. And um, it's so special just to look back and just to remember, you know, all the competitions that you've done. And my dad says, you know, even them little medals, you know, they're still important, and you still have to. Um, be like just as proud as them as you are of you know the ones now and just remember kind of the journey so it's really nice to kind of look back at their medals and to see how far I've come. <laughs> what would this been at? Okay so this photo was from probably one of the first British teams I'd done with my um, club Dynamo. Um, it's a picture with Beth so I was obviously so starstruck um, you know first meeting Beth and being in a competition with her as well was absolutely, you know, insane for me. Um, so I remember being so nervous to go up to her at the end and kind of ask her a picture with her. But um, yeah, and it's crazy to think that, you know, years later I ended up, you know, in a national squad with her as well. And to think how supportive she is of all of us girls now, it's, um, it's really crazy looking back how nervous I was to ask for this picture. Okay, so this was a competition in um, South Africa and it was one with my club as well um, that we went along to. And I remember it was in year 11 because I missed a science GCSE to go to this competition. <laughs> so um, I was quite happy to be out there then. So I think I was just kind of starting to believe in myself at this competition. And I've always enjoyed competing on the floor. And yeah, I think I was probably happy with that routine. <laughs> okay, so this was at the British Championships in 2012. And, you know, that was a massive deal being in that Liverpool arena. Um, I had only just made, like, being in the British at second year junior. So it was quite new to the British Championships. I remember. Um, designing that later with my mum as well and that was one of our favourites that we'd um, designed at the time so yeah just the whole British was um, a very special experience. A lot of my time was devoted to gymnastics but I still didn't really believe how much I could achieve you know I was very much at the lower end of um, like the squad and really looking up to everyone still um, and almost kind of didn't believe I was um, at that level yet so it was the time that I started to you know um, be in them competitions and be starting to kind of chase the other girls. Um, so the World University Games, that was in 2015 and it's still one of like, my fondest memories looking back at that competition. It was quite scary at first and I stayed in a room with a table tennis player which you know, I've never shared a room with anyone else apart from a gymnast before so that was a different experience as well for me and um, you know, winning the competition I did not expect that at all. Um, I think I was quite naive and I didn't really know the other Japanese gymnasts and things at the time so that probably definitely played to my advantage a lot. I didn't really know how you know good the other competitors were. Yeah, that was definitely kind of the first major all-around win that I'd had, and gave me a lot of confidence going into the rest of the year. Um, so this is from the World Championships in um, Glasgow. We got our first team medal at the World Championships, and just to be a part of that team, we worked so hard in the lead up to that um, competition. We had you know very tough programs and a lot of repetitions and conditioning and things as a team together. Um, so to see it all pay off in Glasgow and you know, to get that team medal, um, it was a very, very special experience and I'm just so proud and grateful to have been a part of it. Um, so after 2015, um, we've kind of skipped straight to 2018. Um, I had two kind of injuries which ultimately resulted in operations. Um, 2018 was an incredible year looking back. Um, going into the start of it, I wasn't sure how much my body would take and um, it was literally just playing every day by day and taking it you know, week by week, step by step, and just seeing what I could handle, really. And so this was from the British Championships, and I remember me and my coach, we'd just been out to the American Cup, and we got back that Tuesday, and then we went up to Liverpool on the you know, Thursday, Friday for the British, and obviously we were quite jet-lagged, you know, it's hard doing competitions back-to-back -back in Britain, let alone, you know, going out to America and doing a competition. So it was my coach's 70th birthday the day before, so um, I was really hoping to you know, do all right for him, because he was having to be stuck in the gym on his birthday. The first two pieces were good and it just kept going and um, all my pieces were really consistent and at the end I finished on beam and beam's always 
you know, quite a nerve wracking piece. Um, I knew I just wanted to stay on, just finish, you know, as strong as I could. And I didn't realize I could win or I could medal at all. I wasn't following the scores at all. Um, and so to finish that competition and to see, you know, my name was at the top of the um, screen, top of the leaderboard, it was you know, absolutely incredible to win. And I never really thought if I could ever accomplish British champions. So, you know, to get that, it was so special, you know, for not just for me, but my coaches as well. And my coaches now, he's had a British male champion and a British um, all around female. And I think he's the first coach to do that in Britain. So I was really, really proud that I could, you know, help him achieve that. Um, so being selected for my second Commonwealth Games um, on the Gold Coast this time, so it was completely different to Glasgow and um, again it was just as special as the first time and I was so excited to go out there. We had a really unexperienced team, so quite a young team. We all just had such a good competition and we managed to get the silver medal, so for quite a young experienced team that we had, you know, that was a really big achievement for us. Um, and then to be able to make you know, the all-around final, that was one of my goals. Um, so to be able to make that final with Alice was amazing and you know show I could do that routine and get that bronze medal as well. It was kind of a roller coaster over four days, but um, to finish with that beam medal, you know, I was really, really happy. Okay, so this routine is from um, my European bars final and it was my first European championships. And again, we went in with quite a young team. We unfortunately we lost Becky in the podium training of that competition. So um, again, I kind of was into that team captain role. My routine had changed quite a lot since the Commonwealths and we had really upgraded and really pushed to make a new routine. Um, so to be able to deliver that in you know, qualification and team final and ultimately make a bars final, um, it was fantastic for me because that was kind of a goal of mine and my coaches. Um, and to be able to you know, just get through the routine in a hard um, you know, situation where you don't warm up outside on the podium and things like that, I was, um, I was really proud to kind of get through that routine. Um, looking back through all of those memories, it's incredible kind of to think um, how far I've come from you know, just starting the sport at six years old and not really being any good at all and just doing it for um, the fun of it to being able to make all of these um, international teams and um, achieve all the things that I have it's you know I never would have thought that um, when I started and I still enjoy it just as much as I do when I did back then um, but to be able to you know have all the hard work paid off and to be able to achieve so many wonderful things it you know, it makes all the training and the hard times worth it and you know, I'm really proud and really thankful to everyone who's, who's helped me get here.